cars are not all that different, but there is a slight edge when it comes to which one is the fastest. When I did my initial RAV4 review video, I did a little bit of comparison to the Lexus because I was familiar with it. And at the end of the video, I kind of felt like maybe that was a little bit unfair. Uh, besides, they're in two different uh, size markets and two different price markets. This is considered a small SUV. This is a mid-size SUV. This starts are a little over uh, in the high 20s and ends in the low 40s. And this starts in the low 40s and ends in the low 60s so it's really two different price markets two different size markets but the size actually isn't as different as you might think the lexus is only about an inch taller an inch wider uh, compared to the rav4 and it has 0.1 inches of ground clearance more here in the rav4 hybrid i have 8.1 inches of ground clearance but over here in the Lexus RS350 all-wheel drive has 8.2 inches of ground clearance so they're not all that different now if we're talking about the all-wheel drive system this has a mechanical all-wheel drive system it is definitely going to be better and and more capable than this electronically assisted all-wheel drive system that I've outlined in my earlier review video of the RAV4 basically the rear end is powered only by electric motor about 60 horsepower I believe uh, in addition to the front end so it's a little bit different where the numbers start to change though is obviously to make this a mid-size SUV it's longer so the wheelbases are about four to five inches off we're talking about 105 ish inches here and 109 ish inches you know, on the Lexus ish is a very technical measurement. Uh, so with that wheelbase we're just talking axle to axle. So the the other difference there is actually the overall length of the vehicle. The RX350 is actually almost a foot longer than the RAV4. Most of that is due to these extreme stylings. So in the end what does it mean? You have a five passenger SUV here and a five passenger SUV here. And we know that nobody really wants to sit in the middle. So I wouldn't advise having more than four in either of them. But the Lexus will give you more leg room and you'll feel just a little bit more space in every seating position as compared to the RAV4. Uh, the, the overall width, even though it's only an inch, somehow in the Lexus here, you feel much more at home, much more comfortable. You feel like you have your own space uh, in the RAV4, it does fine, but it's just different. It's bigger, it's spacier. Okay, bigger and spacier. That's great. But what about when it comes to cargo capacity? The RAV4, with the back seat up, has 36 cubic feet of cargo space. The Lexus, with the back seat up, only has 18 cubic feet of cargo space. So, what does that really mean? If you lay down the Lexus seat, you end up with something that is around 59 cubic feet of cargo space. But if you lay down the RAV4 seat, you're closer to 69 cubic feet of cargo space. And that will make a difference. So, small SUV, more cargo space than a mid-size SUV. Mostly due to this very sloped rear roof. That and you have more leg room in the mid section there. 
I like that I can just sit down in this RAV4. I'm 5'8", and it's the perfect height for me to just come over to the rear tailgate and sit down. Or in the Lexus, I actually have to kind of tippy toe just to get up in the entryway. Yeah, it's flat, but it's slightly higher, uh, and that's probably part of the design of the suspension here. But I really do appreciate that I don't have to make that small effort in my RAV4. But which one is faster? Zero to 60 times in this V6 268 horsepower Lexus tops out around 6.8 seconds. This four cylinder RAV4 hybrid does the same in 7.1 seconds. And something tells me that you could more consistently get 7.1 seconds out of zero to 60 with this thing and the electronic assist than you could with this thing that also feels sluggish often uh, when you're driving uh, from, a, from a stop to a start. It, it has more power, it has more weight, it's 600 pounds heavier than the RAV4. I actually expected it to be a little bit more heavier, but that's what it is, 600 pounds between the two of them. Uh, I still have dual exhaust for whatever reason. This thing can tow, it doesn't have the tow package on it. It's a beautiful car. This is the Eminent White Pearl, and that is my magnetic gray over here. But I have a cool black roof in the Attitude Black, or as Toyota now calls it, Midnight Black. It has some blue, purple sparkle in there. The Lexus has a cool high lash wing to separate uh, the floating roof, and it also has a panoramic sunroof. This Lexus has every option that was offered for the model year. This is a more of a mid-range trim level as you guys know from my last video, but they're not all that different. Just a few things that this has that my RAV4 doesn't. Panoramic camera, okay, you can get that in the limited of the RAV4. Heads-up display, I think you're going to be able to get that in the RAV4 Prime, uh, the limited trim. Uh, air conditioned seats you can also get in the limited RAV4. Uh, the triple beam LED headlights are a little bit hard to beat. Uh, and just the overall Napa leather feeling, the wooden steering wheel. Um, this is a very well crafted vehicle. Everything feels refined inside of it. The RAV4 feels just fine though and it is definitely okay for anybody. So I would never tell anybody not to buy this RAV4 unless they just had some issue with it. But, I would also never turn anyone away from buying a used Lexus. Which one is faster? That is the question that we have here. You know one thing I do like about the RAV4 much better than the Lexus? This little grill compared to this massive grill. I mean, yeah, it looks good in the styling profile, but for me, I like how much simpler this looks. Uh, Toyota has moved to these massive grills, and honestly, if the RAV4 was to look like any of the current vehicles out there with the huge grills, I would have had a problem with it. I know that this wasn't a very in-depth video on, on the intricacies of both vehicles, but I already gave a review video on this, and this is a three-year-old vehicle, so if you are actually looking at these, there should be a myriad of videos on YouTube and tons of reviews out there. The Lexus name speaks for itself. The RX350, the top-selling Lexus in the brand, speaks for itself. So it's really just a matter of what you want to do. Does your cool, rich aunt have one of these for sale? Maybe you should buy it instead of getting the new RAV4. Anyway, we did learn which one was fastest, or did we? So which one's fastest? The Lexus on paper is 0.2 seconds faster than the RAV4, 0 to 60. But the feel of this car when you're launching it, launching it, uh, it's it's much quicker feeling than, than the Lexus. You saw those rear tailgates, choose for yourself. Which one did you think was fastest?